Alright, welcome to Scanning TV on YouTube once again. Yes, let's talk about the latest things coming in from the camp of Black Stars, Ghana Black Galaxies, and GFA as well. Yes, Ghana Football Association, they are on the verge of searing or I'm actually taking some people to court. So just take and stay. It might be you. So we, let's look at the details so that we all be guided as to how we can comment and other things on the black stars of ghana we look at it here on this channel then the ghana black galaxies they are the boys who play in the local league or in ghana here they also have ahead of them the champ tournament so they are preparing for it they will play another friendly game we will talk about the details here for you on this channel then ghana black stars midfielder thomas third party who did not really perform well in the just ended workout for ghana and the ongoing workout for the other four nations left um he also played a game the um today with Arsenal against AC Milan. We will check it out here on this channel. And other latest things you need to know before we delve into the details. Consider giving us a like after that. Make sure you smash on the subscribe button, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This video is also brought to you in collaboration with Lemonade Finance. Lemonade Finance is an app used to send money to Africa. So if you are based in US, UK, Canada, wherever you are, you want to send money to Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa, Ivory Coast. Or in Ghana here, just go to App Store or Play Store, download Lemonade Finance app and use it to send money free of charge. After downloading the app, use Osikeni as your referral to get 10% cash back on your first transaction. When you send money to anyone in Ghana here, you are going to get the best exchange rate on the market as well. So, let's quickly begin from the Ghana Black Galaxies. Yes, the Black Galaxies, as you know, it was locally or it was formerly called... Um, the Black Stars B or the local Black Stars, but now their name is the Black Galaxies. We qualify ahead of Nigeria, where we went there um, to qualify in Nigeria. And um, ahead of us, we will play the next champ tournament in January. So the team is preparing. The last game they played was against Accra Folk, where they won by two goals. You know, um, Kai can see um, that is Glass Nawako and um, the other player that's Abagna Sandan, who plays. For our TU. So the next game will be this Thursday. Thursday they will play against Legon Cities. Yes, so Black Galaxies versus Legon Cities is going to happen Thursday, 15 December 2022. Um, that is the um GSCE Pram Pram. So that's the Ghana Soccer Center of Excellence, 3 o'clock p.m. So you can go and watch the match if you are around. So that's an update coming in from there. Then the Ghana Football Association, before we go to Thomas Ter Party. Um, they have also released something that is very, very important for us to discuss it. Yes, um, this is their release. They said that following the exit of the senior national team, that's the Black Stars of Ghana, um, from the ongoing FIFA World Cup, Qatar 2022, the Ghana Football Association issued a statement um, dated December 2, 2022, same day of the 3rd March. And, um, we apologize to the general public and all stakeholders and also indicated that we will continue with the positive lessons going into the future. The GFA has since kept an open mind and continue to listen and receive comments, suggestions and ideas from well-meaning Ghanaians, both home and abroad, for the improvement of the team. Unfortunately, the Ghana Football Association has noticed that a few persons are deliberately maligning and defaming, uh, defaming the GFA and the black stars brand in an attempt to manufacture a non-existent scandal about the team okay while the association will continue to encourage um, um feedback and opinions devoid of insults personal attack and brand devaluation the distraction of the brand from deliberate lies misinformation and defamatory comments must be kept as the black stars remains a global brand the um, that unites all Ghanaians. Okay, so they continue to this place. Um, let me give you where they said that right now they are going to take actions against you and I. Okay, the Ghana Football Association has therefore instructed its lawyers to institute legal action against persons who defame the association, its officials, products, and destroy the Black Stars brand, as well as the media platforms used to do same. The legal forum will provide the opportunity. For these persons to bring any evidence and substance uh, substantiate their allegations okay the association will encourage to um, will continue to encourage opinions and comments being expressed aimed at improving 
the team and the brand. Once again, the association wishes to express its profound gratitude to all persons and stakeholders for their positive suggestions and ideas towards the improvements of the team and the football association, GFA Communications. So according to the Ghana Football Association, they will now start suing some people. They announced, or, you know, they have directed their lawyers to take the cases to court. So if you're a journalist, you're a media house, and you are always on the Black Stars of Ghana, they are now in the process of taking you to court to provide evidence to substantiate on whatever you are actually insinuating. So a lot of people on the social media space started asking, what of the journalists who are always talking for the GFA in quotes and who are also defaming the um, you know some of the players and also putting lights on some players? Example given is a player like um, Gideon Mensah, where a journalist brought it out that um, the player has faked an injury of which there was no truth in that. I came here to talk about it. What about those people? They've not sued them because that is also defaming that, play, uh, that player's character and other stuff. So many people are asking questions on social media that what are you going to do to those people? And the FA, are you now fed up of receiving some, you know, kind of ambassing from Ghanaians? Or the FA, have you forgotten that you are working for Ghanaians and therefore you must account for us? But I think that um, even if all those allegations are true or untrue, well, they have to account to Ghanaians. Whenever there's account, whenever there's openness, the, everything, there's accountability and everything, all these kind of and, um, you know, mayhem and lies may go to sleep. So, well, this is their statement. So if you're a journalist or you're a media house and you are talking about a Ghana Football Association, the Black Stars of Ghana and others, please be guided because the lawyers will be watching or will be listening to you as well. That's an update coming in from them. Thomas Tepate is a player who plays for the Black Stars of Ghana. Yes, after the World Cup, he has rejoined Arsenal in Dubai. And Arsenal today played against AC Milan, where they won by two goals to one. Thomas Tepate did not score no assist though, but he played a key part in it. He played the first half, that is the first first five minutes of the game. Martin Udgar scored a fantastic free kick for them before another player also added one. Then AC Milan got a consolation in the second half. Arsenal has won their two games. The first game they beat Leon by three goals to nil. Today they have also won by two goals to one. This is just a mini tournament that they are playing in Dubai. Pate played 45 minutes. So just on the first six minutes before the second half, he was substituted for another player. That's Mohamed Elneny to come and continue the game for them. His performance was quite okay. And uh, many people are saying that he did not show up for the Black Stars of Ghana very well as the Mundial. Well, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kenny TV. And of course, we shall meet later.